In this example, I will show you how to use regression method uh, to calculate these, uh, to perform the dynamic analysis. Now, we have seen in the earlier video how to perform dynamic analysis in MS Excel using these formulas. If you are interested in how this number comes, you can go to that video and check. Now in this example, I will basically show you for the same data set, I have three internal variables, third party square ins, rubber type, should be double B. And then I have the um, tire construction method, then a one signal factor, one extra, two external uh, factor, temperature and humidity. So this is the Taguchi layout of the design, so I have uh, copied and organized this data based on the factorial arrangement and then this is how the factorial arrangement look like three internal variable one signal variable two external variables and they're all labels are associated there and if we want to do uh, want to find out this slope for the low level of uh, factor internal factor one which is straight by square inch uh, let's sort this data based on the uh, low, based on the A factor, internal factor 1, thread per square inch. So if I sort that, these are the low level data for, um, for that, um, for that A internal uh, factor. Now in the dynamic analysis, you can go back and see other uh, videos on how and what is a dynamic analysis? It basically sees the relationship between the uh, x, the signal variable, and the uh, y variable. So how, if we change the signal variable, if I change the bicyclist power, how that affects the tire life. So just a simple linear regression. So you can click on the data tab. If you are in home tab, you don't you have to be in data tab and then click on the data analysis if you don't see the data analysis here you can right click here and customize the ribbon and you can click on excel add in and then ms excel add in if if you don't see that data analysis toolbar here this is probably unselected for you so just select that whatever you need there so click on the data analysis select the regression hit ok I uh, just checked it so everything is there. In your case, this will be blank and this will be blank as well. So Y is for only for the low level of A, which goes up to this. And then X is my signal now, only for Y. This. And then I also selected the level, hit OK. So that's the uh, variable the the slope that we have calculated right here is the exact same uh, slope 102 if you want to see for the upper level we can also see that let me hide this guy it's just creating visual noise to me hide all right so let's see the upper level slope so go to data analysis regression i'm gonna have to change this now for the upper level y so the high thread per square inch response and then the high thread per square inch power which are these and i don't have level in this case so i'm just going to deselect that otherwise the fast cell will be treated as level will not be counted in the analysis which i don't want this is 75.5 so you can go back to that this is 75 just showing two decimal points no decimal points, that's why you see only 75, they're exact same. Now if you want to see this result in Minitab, we can also do that. So you can go, just to verify, I'm going to copy only this too. So this is for the low level of A. So let's just copy that. It will probably copy the hidden cells as well. Oh, no, that's good. So go to stat, DOE, uh, sorry regression fit regression model response is the y continuous predictor is the x so hit ok i'm not interested in anything else you can see 102 is the slope so 
um, also you can check it anyway you get the idea so you can manually calculate each of these um, levels um, slope value by using the uh, regression method now I think it will take more time to um, sort every all factors um, and then find out the low level and high level you have fa three factors so you have to run six regression model because two level each I think it will take less time if I have to do manual calculation this method will take less time as you can see using the direct equation uh, will take less time uh, however, the reason why I run the regression analysis, so you can see the connections uh, between the Taguchi regression slope, what it is trying to do. So it will give you a clear picture of what Taguchi is trying to do behind the scene in dynamic analysis.